Today we are looking at a Howard Miller grandfather clock. And you might think, Howard Miller? Isn't that the most common grandfather clock? I see them all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one is extra special. And I'm gonna show you why. This is the Howard Miller Creek Moor, model number 610-877, produced between 1999 and 2003. This clock measures about 89 and a quarter inches in height, 28 and a half inches in width, and about 17 inches in depth. The case is cherry with reeded columns and beautiful carvings. It also has beveled glass. The design of the dial is absolutely gorgeous, and the pendulum bob is styled to match. The moon dial is a Courier and Ives period design. It is stunning. While the case and dial are stunning, what really sets this clock apart is the movement inside. This model features a concerto movement and plays Westminster, Ave Maria, and Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, Ode to Joy. It has 16 chime rods. It is a German movement made by Keininger, movement number KSU-63. We'll skip Westminster since it's the most common chime and go to Ave Maria. While getting to the top of the hour, you'll notice that this movement plays a single strike at a quarter after, two strikes at half past, and three strikes at a quarter till. was amazing. I just wish the movement would play more of the song. A little bit more about this movement, it features a night shut off between 10 p.m. and 7.15 a.m. It also has maintaining power, where while you're winding uh, the time weight, the movement continues to run so you don't lose time. And it also has an automatic beat adjustment, so you don't have to put the clock in beat. If you were to buy this clock in the year 2000, it would have cost around $3,800. And with inflation in today's dollars, that would be about $5,900. For present value, I've seen a few sell for between $2,000 and $2,500 in the last 10 years. Considering the price and uniqueness of the movement, the gorgeous case and dial, I think that's a pretty good buy. This is a stunning clock. I normally focus on antique clocks, but I just could not help myself uh, when I saw the movement and heard it. I had to share it with you. So a little bit about Howard Miller. They've been in business actually since 1926, although it was under another name, Herman Miller Clock Company. And in 1993, they purchased Keininger, who makes their movements. And in 2004, they also purchased Ridgeway, uh, which also makes grandfather clocks. I've listed their websites in the description if you're interested in a new clock. They produce a variety of traditional and modern styles with a lot of different types of movements. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other videos and thanks for watching.